You're listening to Corinne Batar on the Beat London 103.6 FM. So, in my humble opinion, one of the best artists to come out of Ireland, a legend on these shores, Ireland via London. Yes, he's right, got Hackney, yeah. He's got more soul than Shoe Zone and Foot Locker put together. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Maverick Sabre is in the building. Let's yeah. make some noise, people. Let's get some applause going. I didn't realise you were a stand up comedian <laughs> as well at the same time. You yeah. didn't know it was funny? Nah. Ah. I'm being very carefully. I've been told to watch my filthy pot mode, yeah, and I've been also told the direction. Keep my, keep your head to the left of the mic because you won't be seen on camera. So I've got a lot of stuff going on in my head at, at the moment for directions. If I fall off this chair halfway during an interview, someone someone ring some help. Please. We're gonna we'll stop we'll stop and we'll get you up and then we'll carry on. But basically, yeah. kind of do what you want, okay. and if something happens to come out, we'll do with it then. All right, That's sweet. I like, I, that. I like I'm that. I'm kicking off straight with new ventures. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I was kindly taken by this handsome man who's off camera, Mr. Nahuan to the launch night of your kind of house music collective which is called yours right it's you Jake Hall Sonny Hall and New Machine but your long time kind of collaborator and friend Adam as well I want to know straight away so you've been creating art in different areas of music what's changed in the studio now that you're doing house Um, I wouldn't say it's just changed that suddenly I'm I'm doing house I think in the last year or so even more so than that but definitely in the last year I've just felt like life's way too short a couple of different things have happened um, around me and it's just made me realise that music and ideas sat either inside you or on a hard drive are no use to anyone if you're the only person who ever hears them so I think like for me and definitely New Machine we've been having conversations for a long while about being sat on music and and not being productive for us in general even just creating new music for ourselves having stuff that's kind of sat and collecting dust is not even good for that but um, so yeah this year has been a bit of a bit of a changeover and the house project kind of came out of two weekends away in the countryside and throwing paint at the wall really creatively and, and, and then the, the, the kind of songs were made it was probably the simplest easiest kind of like most fun I've had in the studio in a long while and you said certain things kind of made you change your perspective as mm. to what you want to release how long has this sort of idea been bubbling in your head and also I don't know if you want to reveal on there but what, what were the kind of things which pushed you towards kind of taking a more free role in making music or um, in these ideas yeah I think there was other things in life that happened just around me and then when I came to the end of last year I re-released my um, my debut album Lonely Out of Brave we did a 10 year anniversary and it was it was all based around ownership and kind of being independent since 2016 and stealing my questions for later oh stealing my questions do, do you know what let, let, him, let him pick it up on the question let, 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 let him start <laughs> I'll start asking myself questions here um, let go keep floating sorry on, how released. did you get the name what was it <laughs> no um <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know, do you know what I mean? Like, sorry. And how have you been today? Let no, me no, switch you know it around. What, do you know what I mean? You know what when did you get into radio? Yeah. Listen. No, nah, that, that's yeah. for seven. Don't to eight. go red on that's, me now. That's yeah. seven. To, that's, <laughs> that's, I don't know how close I am to this, but that's seven to eight pm. It's all right. We'll it. All right, go on. Sorry, I'm going off track here. Let's go. <laughs> you yeah. were saying sorry. So re-release. <laughs> yeah, the re- sorry, Max's the re-release. Version. Yeah. Um, <laughs> This is just sounding like two fellas standing at the end of a pub having a conversation. <laughs> Which is what it should be. Which is what it should be, you know, minus the alcohol, because we're, we're in a kind of like closed studio here. But um, <laughs> yeah, and uh, in the process of, of re-recording the record, I was listening back to all my outtakes of me being like 19 and 20, and we went back yeah. into all the original sessions, because um, I wanted to recreate the album as close to the original version as, pop, as, as uh, possible. And it just made me go back into the into the place of I had beat tapes because I started off as a producer when I was a kid and before I was them. before I was singing or rapping or anything like that I was I was a producer I was like a big uh, primo fan Ninth Wonder Pete Rock that kind of era you know and I was like I've never released a beat tape and I've been making music for 15 years my friends know I've got tapes but they've never come out and I couldn't give myself a good enough reason for why they weren't out and so when we kind of was in that process it was just sparking off some things in me almost like a little bit of a rebirth doing that album Um, and then when we sat down the four of us for the Yours Project the House Project basically Jake and Sonny who are not musicians they come from more of a fashion world they came into the studio one day and they were listening down through loads of New Machines beats and they were like why are none of these out and he had no good reason for it (laughs) 
and it just again reaffirmed I've got no good reason that none of this art is out so I was like right life's way too short let's start putting stuff out so we did the house project I've been going back doing beat tapes and just being as free as possible still still making the records and still making Maverick Sabre solo records that's never going to change but making sure that everything else comes out because you never know like you know you but that's know. what it's all about really as yeah. in, I've, never, I've never understood people who want someone to make a specific type of music when you are literally just putting it out there in the world it's yeah. what you want to do and then if people want to take it in they can take it in and I happen to have seen those mixtapes you dropped them at the beginning of this year if I'm not mistaken uh, I saw one yeah I, we dropped volume one yeah, at the start of the year yeah me hall dear volume one and then another one's coming soon um, and yeah and that's just another avenue of stuff yeah. like yeah again hard drives you know are only for you and the two mates who ever whoever know about them tunes and I, I think I'm at a point now where I'm like I just need to get everything out you know? and you're slightly I feel like you're slightly a bit of a hip hop head oh no yeah I'm not slightly no when yeah, 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 yeah. Rock and people like that yeah you're also a very good rapper I'd so, like to I'd like to think so yeah, I've been yeah. sharpening my tools over the years even though there's you know for, for all the years I've been sharpening my tools the ones the verses that are actually on record are few and far between but yeah that's the thing I was gonna say so you don't see many in the public eye mm. and I think if people if you said the name Maverick Sabre to people they would be like they would be like, yeah. like soul yeah, they will yeah. be like he's the guy yeah, for that yeah, yeah. so could we see a rap project 100% out? yeah 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 I won't say when but there's gonna be little bits even on the beat tape there's little there's little moments of hidden verses from me pitched up or pitched down or scratched up there's yeah so there's there's always little gems and little moments away but there will be a straight up one as well I'm just slowly filtering everything in you know? I'm rubbing my hands is there and this may be audacious but Please. is there space for a little feature as yeah well I you know, I, I, I've got lyrics but I don't know if I can translate it to flow but that's a bit of a danger that's normally how you get to the stage <laughs> but on a record <laughs> you know, one just, without I'll, the other is kind of like I'll just do spoken word if you want to do spoken word go on give us something Give you something. Yeah. Okay. Goals to achieve, reasons to believe. Okay. I've never had to try because there's never been a need. Oh, that, that's wait, that was okay, it. Just, right. I don't want to give. I don't want to give a cat. I don't no, want to no, give no. anything out and throw the kitchen sink. Yeah, out, yeah, yeah. Just something small. I definitely nick those lyrics right, from somewhere I've heard in my. Back. That's alright. We might take that and make a little house hook out. Just a little. Yeah, yeah that's faithless vibe. Listen, yeah. whatever you need. <laughs> if, that, listen, if you're basically looking at the project at the end and saying it's missing something. Yeah. That something. Is you? It's me. Okay. I don't know in what capacity. Now you sold it to me very well. Okay. I'm convinced. I don't know in what capacity, but <laughs> you've convinced something in me. So this, all right. This is the start of the sale. The Sweet. sale's not even finished. Okay, yeah. The sale's not even finished. That's when you bring me to the pub later on. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? After a couple of pints, <laughs> and the next minute I've signed away in my life. Is that what's happened? Yeah? Outside having a <laughs> yeah, yeah, listen, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no signing away anything. Yeah, I exactly. Think, I think, listen, if I had the honor, mm. free of charge. Okay, perfect. Free lovely. of charge. Easy lovely, stuff. Lovely. My brother, we are going to play a track from an artist I like very much I yeah. want your opinion on her yeah. I think she's sensational she's yeah. got one of those voices not dissimilar to yourself where mm -hmm. it just cuts through she goes by the name of Lizzie Birchie okay. have you heard of her? no I think you're going to really like her it's one of her debut tracks it's called I Hope and then for the Beat London listeners we'll be back after this track to hear more from Maverick Sabre and to hear more from me begging him to be on his next That's project basically, is. Which, is, which is okay but you are listening to <laughs> the Beat London's Drive Time Show I'm your personal vibe creator Karim Batar and this one here as announced is Lizzie Birchie I Hope back with the legend Maverick Sabre in the yeah. building what do you think of that one you liked that was it beautiful yeah I never I never heard her voice before but we were just saying that there's something in her tone that really reminds me of Leanne Le Havis. Um I love Leanne as well so yeah that's a, that's um, a nice place to be I definitely wanted you to lend your ear to that because I know you're a musician's musician yeah and, yeah. and there's a nice there's a nice emotion in her voice like we were saying like loads of people can can sing but to sing and have emotion is quite a it's quite a special thing so I'm sure it means a lot coming from you I'm going to pass the message on yeah, to her please. and we were talking about yours the yeah, creative and yeah. my sources are telling me you're in Ibiza filming the next music video we were yeah 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 I want to ask what percentage was work and what percentage was play I want to hear a mad story uh, it's, this is this There's is like, this is drive time, so they're probably the mad stories you probably can't hear. You know, what just I mean? replace like uh, the, replace the naughty words with something else. Uh, what like strawberries? Yeah. <laughs> we did. We did. Well, we just loads of strawberries. And like, no, no. Uh, <laughs> we, ate loads, we, ate, we ate loads, we ate loads of fruit. And like, yeah, no. Um, yeah, do you know what? Ibiza is one of them islands. I've, it's probably, yeah, apart from one or two other places, it's the one location that I've been back to the most in my life. 
uh, I used to go like religiously for, for my bar days in July yeah. um, and it's one of them ones where yeah everyone knows it for the kind of tss, tss, like, constant party and, and all the, the strawberries time. yeah and the strawberries yeah but there's there's loads of beautiful sides to the island if you don't want to have any kind of interaction with that point of it there's loads of relaxing kind of spiritual places on the island yeah that's mad, nice mad, but I'll, I'll go I'll go but you're looking for the juice <laughs> you're, you're like nah forget all that give me the juice we want the fruit salad uh, yeah we do you know what it was one of them ones I was just saying to the wand I was like I'm getting too old for this <laughs> three nights out in a row like yeah we got we were professional we got everything we needed to yeah. but obviously we enjoy we enjoy ourselves we're an enjoyable group you know what I mean and that just took it out of me it was like I had like a four day hangover when I came home <laughs> I'm only slightly started to come out of it now so do you know what hurts it's the plane home from these sort of holidays it's that I plane. missed two flights as well so that was, <laughs> I missed two flights it was horrendous it was horrendous I was at the airport like I was looking around for people that looked worse than I did just to make myself feel a bit better I was like in shame but yeah. Oh, yeah, I can't imagine what I'd be for airport looks like but you got everything you wanted <laughs> yeah we got everything I wanted yeah came back just a little bit less of a man that I went over there or that I went over there with you know what I mean so that's okay yeah. and I want to throw you back so we've already mentioned it already but I want to throw you back to 2012 yeah uh, a vintage year yeah. London, a vintage year London you know. hosted the Olympics oh yeah, yeah I was in yeah. I was in my physical prime back yeah, then went to yeah. Unknown Festival in Croatia yeah. I'll show you some photos what did you call it earlier on Sub 85 oh, so, no, no, oh yeah so <laughs> some hidden club um, <laughs> some housed in club that no one's been telling me about but <laughs> oh there's a few of them we'll get on to them <laughs> but Sub 85 Karim was a, a sight to behold okay. in Croatia but okay. it was also the release of your legendary album yeah. Lonely Are The Brave yeah. and we were talking about Mav's version yeah. and you re-recorded it and you wanted to reclaim control yeah. from neighbors. I want to ask was it easy or hard to kind of recreate the vulnerability and maturity that you showed at such a young age releasing it in 2012 now because I feel like I've, I've heard you speak about it before and you've said that you wanted to make it similar but you also wanted to show people the kind of the 10 years and what's mm -hmm. passed and stuff like that yeah. how easy or hard was it to recreate that vulnerability because you were so mature for like a 20 year old I, like you remind me a bit like Lauren Hill when she made her debut album and she was 17 mm -hmm. and you feel like she's speaking about topics which are well beyond her years um, yeah I think it was I think you know the, the most difficult part I had was going back in and redoing the vocals the instrumentals and kind of you know, finding finding a place of being at ease with that was one thing, but it's you know, vulnerability comes through the voice as well. You know, and uh, and I think my voice has changed quite dramatically mm. over over the last ten years. How has it changed? Would you say if you had to try and? I would it? I would say I didn't call myself a singer then. I didn't feel you know I could stand up and call myself a singer because I came from a spitting background. Yeah. So I was just for me I was singing the melodies of. Sp verses I was writing as a rapper so when people used to say oh you're a singer I felt it like a bit of an imposter like nah I'm not a singer I get by but you know for me it was more focused about what what I was saying and how I was saying it so I think in the years beyond that I found my voice as a singer and then that's kind of like changed and opened up my tone a bit I was like less nasally and I just kind of found control over my voice more so um so yeah it was going back in on them vocals and kind of finding it took a little while it took maybe about two weeks to sit with the vocals and, and, and find a comfortable place that I felt like yeah. I was actually doing the stories justice because you know I was 19 I was very different at that time so to kind of go back into that place I had to re-find that place in my own head which was in there but I just had to dig a bit deeper <laughs> I like as in and I think you obviously re recreating it and redoing it you would have wanted it so not the same but just so perfect in terms of yeah. the recreation and you said that you found your voice how did you do that did you get help from outside or were you just trial and erroring trying to do stuff in the studio how did it go like yeah. technical it was just trial and error really um, I've got a vocal coach now in the last couple of years but that was more because I lost my voice and she um, she just makes sure that I keep my control in line and, yeah. and keep it warmed up properly but as in finding my voice over the years it was just trial and error I was singing more it was like I remember one the kind of one moment that I felt like oh yeah do you know what actually I'm not I'm not bad at singing was I did a radio radio one live lounge and I sang um, you're not bad at singing I changed no I know but these are the journeys of it you know you what I mean sick. no but it's all good saying that now but when you don't come from that perspective in your head it's like you know you're a very humble guy you, you, was, you have to that. you have to you know in a switch off the mic drop the mic <laughs> like, no, no, um, but yeah and no, I remember I was singing a change is going to come and it was the first time that my voice for me had reached this place where I was like ah oh, I held that note in a way that I felt like yeah there's something to grow on here 
and then ever since then I've kind of been just fine tuning it as well which is beautiful to be honest hearing you speak about them being so happy and I kind of like an instrument like, in a sense you know what I mean it's like the minute you pick a guitar up you're not necessarily going to be the best guitar player in the world or even deem yourself as like you know worthy of being called a guitar player you spend enough time on it practice it and master it it's like yeah that's your that's your instrument I'm that's really your happy to hear that because it just like we know what kind of level you set personally like, if you're not going to praise yourself we're going to praise you and we know the kind of level that you set with that debut album and the fact that you're kind of looking at it 10 years later and saying I've made improvements and I'm better mm -hmm. is sensational you touched so many people back then with that original project mm -hmm. now I think your aim was to reclaim control right yeah do you feel like you achieved that aim do you, did you feel liberated after releasing it yeah and I, I think like you know for me I'd already felt that from being independent since 2016 mm -hmm. um, and having the movement that I've had since 2016 um that journey has been liberating in itself and this was almost like closing the chapter in an early from an early stage you know and even listening back to myself at 19 now as a 32 year old with more knowledge more experience and more of a wealth of a career it was almost like in a weird way looking after my 19 year old self who was you know fully purposely involved in the art but everything else kind of like took a backseat so it was more like kind of both I was learning from it as well as kind of looking after my 19 year old self I came away from that being a bit more fearless yeah. and that was from sitting back with the record so the record taught me something but I also taught a younger version of myself something in a mad way that's a bit no it's a where's the pub <laughs> 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 anyway, you, know, no, you make a joke quick. No, no, too no, deep. No, you're good, you're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, I was doing that because it's just like it's unbelievably profound and I love to hear that and I've even you know what we that's might... just that strong coffee I had before I got <laughs> I, I got something to wake you up later believe me yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what we're going to continue to get <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, strawberries yeah, yeah. they're back we've got two more minutes we're going to continue to be a little bit more profound and then the funny okay, stuff, yeah, the funny yeah, stuff yeah. comes in the next just make it 10% more profound please yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. slacking a bit now. 19 year old Mav yeah. so you looking back at yeah. that young man yeah, yeah. And you were you were talking about kind of your placement in the industry, the fact that you were probably focused on the talent and you left everything else to yeah. to the others and stuff like that. What would you say? What would you say about nineteen year old Mav the personality? What was he like compared to you now? What's, uh, what's changed and what have you have you smoothened edges? Have the edges? I think I've sm yeah. I think we all naturally smoothed some edges, but we hope we do. Anyway. I was an absolute. I, I was gonna swear. I was, yeah, see, I was, sorry, a, I was a big strawberry, you. like big big strawberry. Yeah. When I was nineteen. Yeah. And then, like now, I'm a lovable lovable guy yeah yeah I, w I would say like I hope that I've retained all my good characteristics not that I necessarily had any bad ones but I think I was at a place maybe at 19 where I was very wary of the world and that came out as especially in a lot of young men as like that came out in anger sometimes and paranoia and stuff like that and I think I was in kind of a I was in in one place I was ridiculously fearless because I'd moved back to London at 17 yeah. with a bag on the boat one day moved in with my hand <laughs> and, I, and I was just so headstrong and nothing could shake me off path at all I didn't give a damn about anyone's opinion or none of that I was like this is where I'm going so there was that fearlessness that was beautiful but then there was I was slightly reckless in one sense so the recklessness I think I've shaved off <laughs> like, I think I have anyway <laughs> yeah. No, no, I mean, but you, yeah yeah you deploy the recklessness like kind of strategically now if you're, yeah. Let's say you're on a trip to Ibiza. Yeah, and, and you want to you want to turn the recklessness up to uh, you know what I mean. Jump off the boat, man! Yeah, like, yeah, 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 that sort of vibe. <laughs> yeah. yeah, all right, guys. All right, I'll be yeah, 19 year old man again. Yeah, it's yeah, cool. Yeah. That's it for the profoundness for All now. Right, sweet. After the adverts, we have got your triple threat coming up. We have got three okay. tracks from you, and yeah. there's going to be a minute beforehand. You can be as profound or oh, unprofound no, as you All like. Right. Sound good? Sweet. Let's do it. You are I'm listening down. to Maverick Saber here on the Beat London's Drive Time Show with your personal vibe creator. That is me, Karim Batal. We're hilarious. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. No, I, this yeah. combo we always knew it was going to be dangerous. But I know, this... mate. The stand-up stages in Northwest <laughs> London. Where are you at? Yeah. Big up yourselves, Arsden. Yeah, we yeah. are back. <laughs> Yeah. Mav's swearing at me for I'm just, I'm just slowly swearing and leaning <laughs> to the side we have got 
50 seconds up first in the triple threat is yeah. Let Me Go, Mavs version. What does it mean to you? What do you want to say about the track? Um, short and sweet, Let Me Go it sounds like it's a love song, but it was really written about my relationship with alcohol when I was 19, 20 and uh, how I used to, I still love it. Reckless I used to, man, used to love it. But yeah, yeah, it used to just put me into, at times, horrendous situations and that's what Let Me Go is about. So. It can't be that short and sweet. You've got 20 seconds left. I've got 20 seconds left. Well, look, my name's Michael. <laughs> I, you know, I'm an Arsenal supporter. Sometimes I like walks in the park. Uh, I'm really easy to get on with. I'm a lovely person to wake up beside. And uh, thanks very much. That was absolutely delightful. There you go. Track number one from Mr. Maverick Saber. Let me go. A relationship with alcohol. This one, of course, Mav's version. Make sure you go stream it. This is a man who about 10 minutes ago said he wasn't a good singer. This is the new version. This is new. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go, Mavs yeah, version. Yeah. That was beautiful. Up next, we have got you and your man, Conductor. Yeah. Take it away, sir. Um, so in the campaign for I Need, um, as part of the Mavs version, Lonely and the Brave project, there was something about uh, the first campaign I did years ago when we did you know, blocks of remixes for each one, which I always love because it, it allows songs to live in different spaces Absolutely. at different times. Um, and I've known Conductor for a while, so yeah, I just felt it only right to get him on a kind of UKG mix. So, yeah. It's a vibe as well, it's bouncing. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it, it kind of, it served the purpose of bringing it into that space without like cringing it up without like taking the feel away from it I think it like still retains the emotion of I need but allows you to like skank out a bit to it you know and Conduct is always brilliant at doing that so yeah and I think what's interesting is actually I think a lot of people love this particular track of yours the original I think a lot of feedback today everyone was like I can't believe Maverick Saber's coming on your show but they were like I need one of my favourite songs give me a shout out big shout out to Bashiru this is his mum's favourite song as well not the Conductor remix but yeah but soon yeah soon I I, I slightly think this will be so you don't have to say that you're a nice person now you're an Arsenal fan all of that business we're getting straight into it this is I Need like, cut the, oh, yeah. <laughs> this is I Need the Conductor Remix yeah. please want to hear Maverick Sabre's voice over Garage this is the track for you I Need the Conductor Remix how you feeling fella? very well yeah very well you good? all good we're just having a little bubble here in between we... in between songs yeah everyone's revealing personal information <laughs> here there was a lot of chat which we probably will save it we'll yeah save it we'll save now. it for the podcast, yeah. we'll save it for the podcast. <laughs> and last but not least we've given them soul we've given them garage yeah, yeah and last yeah, but yeah. not least it's not home but it's house yeah take it away sir uh, so calling was the first song that we all collectively made together in the studio uh, two of the guys in the group come from a fashion world me and New Machine have been friends for 15 years and making music together uh, and this was the first thing after all of our ideas had been thrown around that we actually made in the room together as a, as a kind of unit um, and this was the first song we put out and this is Call It it's the, we've got 27 seconds come on so we've still got Call It an Arsenal fan we, have we fumbled the whole situation at the last minute you know what I mean? I what's happened I can feel this time for you you're talking about people being fashionable are we? number one I was happily in the music video yeah track, so there you, you go come on cameo come on come on now. it was literally about yeah, yeah, second. Yeah, yeah, your checks in the post no <laughs> But number two, yeah. you were wearing a very delightful orange jumpsuit. I was, yeah, I'm glad. Yes, yeah, so I was. Listen, Come on, the orange. Them fashionable. Exactly, right? We're doing our thing. This is yours. Yeah. Maverick Saver is part of a new house music collective. Go yeah. stream this track as well. It's called Call In. And then we have got a mental game on the okay, way. Yeah, yeah, back mad. Yeah, you are listening to Drive Time. What a varied triple threat that was from my brother Maverick Saber. How are you, sir? Very well. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at these things that you've got in front of me here and I'm thinking, like, who do I need to speak to about insurance? <laughs> insurance, yeah, because I'm quick to claim. <clears throat> yeah. Listen, Mav ETC. is revealing what is about to happen right now. So, with every guest I have on, yeah. I like to generally play a game to lighten the mood. Okay. okay yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and to be honest, the mood is pretty light <laughs> yeah. already. It's We're, pretty light, yeah. It's pretty light already. Pretty light, yeah. Not strawberries. Don't make it heavy, yeah? (laughs) So, what I like to do, instead of playing the same game with everyone, I like to take an artist's name, 
a little play on words and create a game off the back of it. I'm Grand. a genius. Grand. Right. So today, Maverick Saber, you will be playing Maverick Sober. Okay. okay uh, here we go. And there may be a backstory to Maverick Sober, which you might want to tell us afterwards. Maverick Sober sounds like the crooner album I released when I'm 60, <laughs> like just giving up everything. I'm like, yeah, no, I'm <laughs> on the straight and now I'll just end my days. <laughs> and my days are done. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go on. Maverick Sober goes yeah, like this. Yeah, I've yeah. got three cups in front of me. Right. One, two, and three. I've mm-hmm. mixed two non-alcoholic drinks in each cup. Yeah. You're going to taste each cup and tell me what two drinks I've mixed in each cup. Wait, explain. You've mixed two non-alcoholic drinks in, in each, each cup. cup. You tell me what two drinks I've mixed in each cup. All right. Sound good? They're very clean. They've been independently verified. There is Independently no- verified by who? Yeah. Where's the person that's independently verified these? Yeah, have they got like a badge or a certificate or... I do not have to reveal my sources. Number one. Number one. Here we go. Maverick Sabre plays. Maverick Sober. Okay. Here we go. And if you're struggling to get it through the little hole, take it off and just don't look. Hmm. Sound good? Ooh, that was a bit... Ooh. (laughs) Yeah, lick that finger. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? (laughs) It's starting to get a bit weird, didn't it? Yeah, no. (laughs) All right, so... So number one's definitely got like it's a, there's a light fizz to something, but I can't tell if it's if it's like a, like a Pepsi or something like that mixed with uh, there's something strong in there. It's like a, it's like Master Chef. Is though. it like a, the words you're using? Like a, a, something lemon mixed with like a Pepsi. Okay, so. Give, guess two drinks, because I think you're, I'm going to give you... All right, I'm going to guess one of the cola drinks. It's like a Pepsi or a Coke. Mix. I'm going to give you half. Okay. Number one, right. you've got half a point. Well done. Half of it is Coke. Right, right. And what is, it's not a lemon, but it's like a fizzy lemon or a dilutable lemon, like... Uh, nah? You're, the thing is, you're close. You're in the citrus, citrus region. Citrus region. So is it what? It's like a Robinson's or something like that? It's not a Robinson's. Oh, it's, a it? very, it's a very common drink. Well, it's Fanta Orange. It's yeah. Fanta. Okay. We're going right. to give you... Okay, so go, 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 let's get... Some, let's get some applause for I'm not supporting none of these fizzy drinks. Drink water, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Drink water. Keep healthy, yeah? Bang. Little glass, man. Everyone. We're going to put them away. We're going to put them out of the camera's sight. Maverick Sober, as your yeah, name is going to yeah, be for the yeah, next yeah. few minutes. Yeah, this yeah, is go on, go on. number two in right. the game. Here we go. Go on, go on, go on, then. You're yeah, getting yeah, into yeah. it. Yeah, that's cool. No, the way you build it up, I was expecting me to be drinking <laughs> something mad. Like. <laughs> Mm, lovely. That's mm. definitely got some Ribena in it, right? Ribena? Yeah. Are you are you logging that in? Logging that away? in, that's let me one. See, let me see if it's back here. It's got to be something, no? Oh my God, it is back here. Well yeah, done. Yeah. That's half a point there. Mm-hmm. It little, might even be a little air horn as well for you. What, for the Ribena? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're giving them air horns out for cheap, yeah? yeah nah, <laughs> sorry, I All I mentioned was Robina. I haven't even sang it in here. I'm getting what, air horn. What then. did you say it was called? Robina. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, I cannot tell what else. That robin is pretty strong. You think it's overpowering it? everything. Yeah. Do you yeah. want to take a guess? Because you're just doing it's halves. Some, it's, a, it's something not fizzy. It's like uh, uh, I don't even know. Uh, okay, I saw the top you of it. it. Yeah, no, I saw it. Saw the top of it. Mango. Yeah. So all right. That, that made that the robin is overpowering that completely. But. So you had that one there. That was number two. So you're kind of doing halves. You're not doing too badly. We're doing halves. Yeah. What was your uh, favorite combo between the two? Me, I've got to go for the 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 uh, robina and the mango. Can we make a little drink? Do you think we can do something in the future? Yeah, I wouldn't push it that far now, but yeah. <laughs> I say for two sips out of a cup, you know what I mean? Two sips. When I'm slightly parched myself. <laughs> <laughs> I won't put it into a brand or anything. Like, listen, you know what I mean? I, Unless this is the game changer, I would say stick to your I, day job. Listen, I, 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 think, I think this is the game changer. You think this is the Here game changer? What, this with a little bit of ice and, and something strong in the mix for summer, yeah? Number three, Maverick Sober. Let's do this, baby. Mm. the way he's tasting at the beginning he's like mm. yeah no because I'm just <laughs> <laughs> I'm just delighted that there's nothing foul in it yeah no no come on <laughs> the thing is I can't invite you to the studio and do that to mm, you come on now mm. Mm, mm, I'm getting hints of uh, Oakwood uh, I think 19, 1954 vintage that's got, that's got yeah isn't it? that's some vintage <laughs> lemonade there TK 1975 <laughs> uh, that feels like there's definitely lemonade in there 
I kind of want to give a, you this. No, but it's something right. similar. You're don't, right. Don't, yeah, don't pity me here now. No, no, but yeah. it's like, no, yeah. it kind of is lemonade, and I'll, I'll show you in a minute. All right. So what is it? It's, it's not going to be a Fanta lemon or something. It's like a that. brand, but it, I'd say it's very similar. It's to not lemonade. whites, is it? Whites lemonade? Wait, no, it's not. No, it's it? uh, American. Oh, you're gonna have to give me this one. Where is it? Mountain Dew. Okay, would you call that? Yeah, that's it. What's that? It's Citrus not, Blast. It's a lemonade, man. That's a lemonade. It's Mountain Dew. It's just that lemonade. they've just sold you the dream. Mountain Dew, <laughs> Citrus Blend. It's a lemonade, it's man. It's a lemonade. Like, yeah. And, and now, it didn't come from no mountain either. They nah. sold you the dream. Like. No, no, listen, bro. <laughs> this is the market. Yeah. What partnered the Mountain Dew in cup number three? Wait, hold on. Starting to enjoy this. Look at that. You see his elbow went up there. Yeah, no, his this elbow is, went I'm going to start doing this for a living. Man. Swat, <laughs> lift my pinky up and start swirling around in my mouth. Mm. Mm-hmm. All right, then, man. All right. Uh, I'm going to go for lychee. Ooh, that's not, that's not bad. Again, no. I'm not pitting you. So no. you've, done very well. <laughs> you've done very well. Isn't right. it? I, I tried what to make it? the third one the hardest. It is Lipton iced tea mango. Oh, ah, okay. So you, you came All exotic right. and I felt like something. you were taking <laughs> You were like, let me just go. Yeah, somewhere it. along the spectrum, it was like lychee. Let me do that. Yeah. All right. Nice. All right. So you know what? No, 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 you no, did, no, did okay. well. And I think you kind of got 1.5 out of three. You got three halves. You got the Coke. Yeah. You got the Ribena and you got the Mountain Dew Lemonade. I'll take that. Brandon Citrus Blast. Yeah, 50% percent sounds a bit better than 1.5 now. And, <laughs> in a language. 1.5. What was this one called? <laughs> oh, this was Ribena. Oh, Ribena. Yeah. Little air horn Come on. in the building. Yeah. So. Vintage. Maverick Sober yeah. is done. Yeah. yeah that was all, a... that, all that funny stuff. Get yeah. out of your head. We're Get back out. to profound. Okay. Profound. All right. We're back to profound. Sweet. You've always struck me as an artist. I like the change in tone of voice. You see the change? Let me do that again. You've yeah. always struck me. Yeah. As what an you artist. also can see here is he's using hand signals. Yeah, 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 of course. As an abstract creative. <laughs> <I like it. laughs> yeah, yeah. And I think you've always liked to create a community around you, a family. You Are you a thespian? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're I a thespian. Am. Okay, I would like you, it. Um, <laughs> would you agree with that statement? Sorry, I just blanked out there. Say that again. Would you agree you yeah. like to create a community around you, a family unit when you're creating music and just generally? Yeah, yeah, I think generally. I think, like, um, community is important and I think definitely when you move into a creative space, it's important in general anyway, but creative spaces, artists are generally, you know, we've got a, a blend of on the spectrum crazy vulnerable loving giving and uh, I think having a community around definitely in creative spaces is important of people that you can bounce off um, people that you can kind of create together with and that you all collectively understand your vision um, and, and I think as well it's just about building a team you want you know you want to you want to you know for me I never want to build individually you know, individual success is always beautiful, but to share that with people, I think, is the key. And especially other people that you believe that we can excel together. Um, that's the kind of, yeah, that's the movement you want. And you see that very community and you're being so profound again, mm. of course. But you see that very community after the Lonely Other Brave tour. Yeah. There's a very handsome young man here. He's off camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes by the name of Nahuan Jaff. And he's in the yeah, building. He's a fantastic photographer. Yeah, fantastic, yeah. One of, one of the best in the business. One of and the best. If not the best. If not, not one of the best. Forget not, everyone else, yeah? The, think, <laughs> do you know what? If we're going to do the air Give horn. him an air horn. You yeah. can't give an air horn for Idina. No. <laughs> and not give one for... Yeah, yeah. Oh, even got like, like, you're not quite right meaning it yet, but... You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, I have it on good knowledge from him. Not good knowledge. Not I know. Good knowledge, yeah. I know. Okay. That a photo book is being made of the tour, yes, which you guys are releasing together. Yes, if someone picked up that photo book, mm-hmm. what would that photo book tell them about that community that you just described? I think, I think it would, I think it would, I think it would give you an insight into that community that was kind of built and it was built over a certain period of time. You know, I've been with my band for a couple of years, New Machine ended up coming and being a part of the band um, a bit later on. Uh, we had Noan, the guy, a f- good friend of mine. Liam who helped me with the March side we had Cadell helping on that side mm. and everyone in the crew and you know so everyone has come into the team at different points or at different stages uh, and I think that tour for me as well and where I was at with the conversation we had earlier on was a big triggering thing in a, a positive way of like 
going, all right, this is the family is this building. Is yeah, yeah, <laughs> building more. And I think that tour kind of solidified that um, and all of our roles and how we work well together. So I think people are going to get an insight of that and being on the road. And like, I think the wine captured being on tour very beautifully. You know, it's easy to, I suppose, just go and take nice shots of crowds, but to tell a story within the touring program and then being able to tell a story through the crowds as well. So for anyone who was at any of them shows, when we do release it, get a copy because there's beautiful crowd shots that kind of tell a story and you might be in one of them or, I, you know. I, are you going to accompany the photos with some writing underneath each one or is it literally just going to be like Mav on stage? There's gonna, we're, we're kind of fine-tuning that, that that last little bit of it. But yeah, it's, it's going to be, it's going to tell a kind of a combined story. That's what we're trying to do with it. I'm excited. I'll be buying one. Yeah. I'm going to be yeah. buying one. It's going to be put, take pride on my mantelpiece. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a beautiful piece. As I said, like, no one captured that, uh, that tour, you know, better than I think any of my tours have been captured before. Um, and especially not just the stage shows, but the kind of the lifestyle behind. Yeah, you know? baby. Yeah. Strawberries. <laughs> <laughs> Um, do you know Strawberries what? is just cold for everything we, now, is it? <laughs> we, don't, we don't need the Ribena anymore. Yeah. We've got the man himself in <laughs> the building. I'm going to be buying one. It yeah. sounds like a beautiful project that you yeah. two have put together, to be honest. I'm really looking forward to it. He Thank speaks you. so passionately about it as well. As with a lot of things, he speaks very passionately yeah, about them. Yeah, right. um, Can't get him off the phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, we Should do calling now with no one. <laughs> <laughs> Remix calling. In it, do you know what I mean? <laughs> we have got two minutes left of the show. Okay, so... I want to quickly say, before you tell me what's coming up next, thank you so much for coming through. No, thank you for having us. Always open door policy. Next time, I've realised I can actually push the boat out a bit more. Yeah, yeah. You you were ready for war. No, you built that up mentally. I didn't know what I was going to be drinking. (laughs) I was thinking, do not kill me off here, mate. (laughs) Ended up just being a celebrity master chef. He's just there. I I, I know, you know what I mean? Getting notes of black I I, I still only got 50%. This is disgraceful. (laughs) Uh, I think you'll find that's 1.5 out of 3. 1.5, all right. I was just changing the language to make myself feel a bit better in the last two minutes. Minutes, you know what I mean? <laughs> send me off on a high, will you? Bloody hell. Um, do you know what? I will yeah. send you off on a high. You are a <laughs> sensational man, a sensational artist, and you know what? You're just an all round legend, to be honest. So you can be very proud of what you've done. Thank you very up much. Up until this that. point in your life, 19 year old man, 30 year old man, whatever you want to call it, I'm <laughs> sure you're smashing it either <laughs> Thank way. You, What's coming up next for you urgently in the next couple of weeks and months? Uh, we've got more music coming with the Yours Collective. Um, I've got a new solo project coming, and I've got more beat tapes coming. So yeah, I'm just trying to get music. Out on all on all sides of the spectrum here now. So yeah, just more music from me. I'm excited for hip hop, oh, man. Yeah, all that's right, there. Cool. That's building. That's We're really. going vinyl shopping. Okay. Yeah, I never yeah. really, I never knew. I never yeah, knew yeah, there, was, yeah, there yeah, was this yeah, side yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah, that's the that's the foundation of everything. I've got. Um, I interviewed an artist a couple of weeks ago, a Norwegian rapper. He goes by the name of Ivan Av. Okay. Have you ever heard of him? No. I'm, I'm gonna pass on his music. Okay. I think you'll really, really enjoy him. If you're a hip hop purist, yeah, he's just sensational. And he kind of does that kind of soulful hip hop as well. Yeah. So I don't know if that's your bag, but yeah, it sounds yeah. like it's your bag. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Basically, I'll be sending loads of stuff All your right, way. Good, good. If you want to respond or not, if I get a catch a blue tick, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, we, had a, yeah. we had a good time and we had a solid hour. Yeah. And if that's all it is in life, that's all it is. <laughs> if that's all this is and this is where the relationship goes in, all right, we'll, we'll draw a line here. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right. I'll be back for uh, Maverick Alcoholic on the next one. <laughs> right, Maverick- where, where we go to four, five, and six, and you, you give us something stronger than uh, <laughs> my Bina, mango juice. I'm like, what? I came all the way down here. Oh, listen, if you're, nah, if, if you're stage day round of alcoholic, I would have made a game. Yeah, yeah, Maverick, yeah, Maverick yeah. alcoholic. But listen, yeah, it's nah. Maverick Saber, my brother. Just to remind everyone, drink water, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Keep clean. Keep clean. And I think yeah. on that note, brother, thank you so thank much. Thank you for having us. We it, have man. come to the end of the show. Maverick Bloody Saber yeah. in the building here yeah. on Drive Time. I'll see you guys in 21 hours. Brother, thank you. Thank you.